Mm. Welcome, Madeline. Thank you so much for taking some time today to share about your journey with the Empress Council. Really yeah. appreciate being here with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am wondering, my dear, if you might, you know, begin by speaking to what it was that drew you into this council mm. originally. Well, I was one of the women that we, we began by having our retreat with you canceled in the spring of 2020. So I remember us doing some things online um, in lieu of the retreat. And when you created the council, the, the connection that I felt with you facilitating an in-person retreat the year prior and what we did online together, it was one of those, it's hard to describe, but just that where you have an inner knowing that I need this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't have even <clears throat> been able to articulate why I knew I needed that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and in retrospect, I, I wanted to feel more comfortable with myself, um, with my voice in the world, with sharing that, particularly sharing that in front of other women. And um, yeah, just learning I have some sisterhood wounds, both from my my birth family and some friendships in the past. And I know I was seeking um, a safe place for my heart and soul to land because I felt connected to the feminine and the divine feminine for most of my life. And it, it, ha it has been just that. So mm -hmm. mm, we're offering it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember you often shared, especially most recently, um, about like this depth, this depth you were hungering for with other women. And I wonder if you might speak into that a little bit. Like, what did you discover about that hunger and having that hunger met? Um, and how has that, you know, impacted you now in your world and life? Yeah, I believe that the depth yeah that i don't know if i would have been able to articulate initially um i think i felt isolated a little bit before that not knowing whether or not it was okay to share my full self <laughs> with you know with whom I, it was okay to share my full self and in a really sweet slow way i've learned with this council that um it's absolutely okay to share both both the experience of being a you know being a woman holding space for other women and really appreciating their honesty and depth um, and being able to reflect back to them or simply hold space and allow them to express themselves and then having them do that for me has been incredibly healing in that it makes me feel much more comfortable in my everyday interactions with people. I just, I feel like I have a more solid ground of, yes, I'm a real person, a real woman. Mm -hmm. And I've now been in the space with enough real people and real women who have the courage to share their fullness <laughs> that it's okay if we, you know, if we meet other people in our lives at different levels of depth, but just being able to say it's okay to have the level of depth that I have, complexity that I have, you know, feels good. Mm -hmm. And along those lines, you know, how did this impact? Certainly you just shared a bit about your life, but even like your profession and, and as a singer and, you know, what you were speaking about with your voice, like, that you hungered to show up differently with your voice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has affected my, the way that I show up. I think that that's so, it's always, you know, things that everything's connected. When, when, when we say it's not, I mean, who, who I allow myself to be as a human being um, is always going to affect who I allow myself to be 
in a performance setting. And since I do a, uh, I teach music and I also perform. And particularly for the performance uh, aspect of my career, I, I think I needed to, I used to believe that I needed to somehow, I don't know, give more than who I am already. Like that what I, you know, basically that just exactly who I am in my humble humanity is actually not enough for a performance and that somehow there was always a part of me that needed to hide in that setting and i feel even though you know you sn I, I i sneak it in with but look at the song i chose to interpret so i'm kind of showing you that i have depth or feeling or but i'm not i'm still making it a performance and i feel i feel much more connected to um staying present and more authentic when in a performance setting mm. Mm. so beautifully stated yeah i really honor because i too that that place of yeah here i am showing myself and i'm actually really hiding even though you know i'm showing so much of who i am nope there's a whole part that's yeah really hiding herself and that's the most essential one mm -hmm. most essential oh, yeah and what actually i mentioned to you before we started is um i think that receptivity that i was mentioning so i i just had a pretty big performance this past weekend and what was different about it for me was that i felt more receptive to the energy of the audience actually so i think a lot of my guardedness was actually preventing me from even enjoying what was already there to be enjoyed. Mm. And, and so I, I let myself take in the love, the support, the care of my community. And I was like, yes, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, applause to that. Yeah, standing ovation. Mm. Mm. And what would you say, like, were your favorite parts about the council? Hmm. Hmm. There's so many things. I enjoyed, I particularly enjoyed um, intimate connections. So when we would do breakout groups um, in our larger group calls, even if it was just a short breakout, I mean, I, I enjoyed both, like having the larger connection with the group and having the intimate breakout groups. Um, and we ended up doing more intimate, we called them pods in our, the platform Marco Polo. That was sweet when you kind of felt maybe less, less inclined to share with a larger number of women, just having, you know, smaller pods to have intimate connection with. Um, I enjoyed themes i actually really enjoyed your you had a, a recent kind of presentation format i'm like ooh, that's a presentation format <laughs> as, 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 as much as i enjoyed you know just be, sitting in circle and maybe going around and doing a check-in with every single sister and that being absolutely enough mm -hmm. i also really enjoyed um the permission to just show up and it, and to not have to contribute or even respond or you know or i'm i prefer to listen today mm. and that, that felt important mm. and what you know like the life of the council what did that become in your world like in the rhythms of your week or in your because so often something that um we bring into our lives it then takes on a life of its own and represents something for us that we're hungering you know to to have more in our own direct daily lived reality i'm not mm -hmm. sure if you can bring that to words i think the rhythm of it was comforting whether i could participate in as currently there are weekly meetings but whether I was able to participate live in any of those and all of those, I appreciated there being an opportunity to participate in person. And I actually really enjoy having the other formats to, you know, if you 
are inspired by something that you want to share in the moment, that there's another way to connect. Mm -hmm. And so that, that I, I felt that that was always there, whether it was something that I wanted to celebrate or whether I, I needed to, I was in process and felt like I needed a little space holding around something. I knew that that was there as a tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you were involved for three years, which is such a sacred, you know, like to just think of the longevity and sustainability of that. And as you're transitioning out, um, what are you integrating? What do you discover? That's it's, it's really landed. It's really here for you now. And you would contribute that to the council, your participation in it. What is wonderful is that I feel uh, it has kind of motivated me to even more. I've started to doing it, but it, I, I have a much stronger motivation to create this kind of space for myself doesn't have to be the same format, but just my, this way of connecting um, and level of depth of connecting with the people in my community <laughs> kind of is all linked, right? Like I'm living in this persona of, you know, the respectable music teacher and a performer. And, and of course I have my friends who know, know me as well, but there, it, there's something different about my my willingness to show up even more authentically and with depth and get get pretty clear on the types of connections that i i do desire and want with people mm -hmm. um, and create more of those mm -hmm. um, yeah mm -hmm. and feel softer about connecting in general <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, connecting can have a bit of an edge to it, can it? <laughs> yeah, and so in wrapping it up, I know um, your relationship to your body has been so significant. And what would you say, like how, you know, because for women, especially in a world of that has been so devo devoid of that deep presence inside of our own bodies, what did you notice? Mm. What are you walking away feeling in the body yeah i the fact that many women within our circle the the i'll say the somatic awareness um somatic awareness in general your body awareness tracking sensations in the body in order to deepen my relationship with my own body and begin to uh, associate those with with then what can happen with thoughts and feelings um, has heightened so much because on my own, I, I you know read about it or listen to, but having women in the council who have more experience with that themselves and hearing, witnessing someone um, describe sensations in their body as a way of dropping in to themselves has been a really powerful modeling actually for mm -hmm. me to to learn how to do it myself mm -hmm. and any last things you want to share anything that feels like it needs to be said just so much gratitude so much gratitude for for your vision and for creating this for continuing to provide a safe beautiful nurturing inspiring place for women to to love on each other and support each other <laughs> yes yeah, kind of a basic medicine isn't it Such mm. a basic simple essential medicine yeah mm. yeah thank you sharon mm. thanks madeline mm.